Welcome, my name is Kaylee O'Donnell from the technical documentation team at MSCRM add-ons. And today I'm gonna to go over how to add dates to templates via the date time field and the advanced string option for document score back. I'll first outline the use cases for both methods and then we'll move into a short demo. Okay, now this is quite straightforward, but there are two different methods for adding dates to templates depending on what your needs are. So starting off with the date time field method, this is used when you wanna perform very basic calculations with dates. Um, for example, this is useful if you want to set a future deadline or you want to set an expiration date for an offer by adding a number, certain number of days, weeks, months, or years to a specified date. However, if you want to add just the current date and not perform any other calculation, you would use advanced string. So that's quite important to remember. And this is useful, of course, if you want to do simply maintain records or mark the current date when the terms of a contract go into effect um, and any other use case where you simply want the current date on there. So like I said, that is quite straightforward. And now I am happy to move into a very short demo where we add the current date and the due date of a quote to a quote document. So we can jump into that now. Okay, so here I have a quote template ready for us to use. And to this document, I wanna add the current date and the date that the quote is valid to. So I'll start off by doing the, adding the current date via the advanced string. And to do this, I'll navigate to our documents core pack template designer, opening the insert field dropdown menu, and then selecting insert computed item, followed by advanced string. And in just a moment, that window for advanced string will open. Perfect. So you do have the option for both examples to use the property designer or the text designer. Just keep in mind that if you use the text option, you do have to manually input all of your date and formatting options. So for sake of simplicity, I'll move forward with the designer option for both. So to add the current date from here, you would select the plus icon and then add new function. And then you can choose to simply add the date time or date time with format and culture. And this latter option just allows you to specify what you want the date formatting and culture to be. So I'll select that option for this example. Um, and you can see here that the format option is set to D currently, which is where you have the month, date, and then year in that order. And the culture is currently set to English, US. And that is personally what I wanna use for this example. So it looks good to me and I'll leave that as is. And then I'll add some placeholder text, which is always useful for just finding and modifying fields in the future if necessary. So we always recommend that. And then everything looks great. So I'll just select OK, and we should see the placeholder text appear in the document. Perfect. So now I'm going to jump down to our valid until date. Now we're going to be a little nice in this option. And on the quote, we have our effective to date, the date the quote was effective in to. <coughs> Excuse me. And in this example, we're going to add an extra five days to that effective date. So in order to do this, we're going to go back to our template designer, open the insert field dropdown again, and insert computed item again. But this time, since we're performing a calculation with the date time field, we're going to select date time field. And then in a moment, that window will open as well. Perfect. So here you need to add fields from this tree view by double clicking on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for our effective two field. Perfect, here we go. And then I wanna perform my calculation with this by adding five days to it. So to do that, I will right click this field and then navigate to add function. And here you can see the four functions that you can choose from. You can choose to add, subtract, add business days or round. Um, and just a quick note for the subtract option that will alter your formatting options later on. And we explain that further in our written documentation, but just keep that in mind for now. Um, so to move forward, I will choose add. And here you can add the specific um, number and units to complement that number. So I wanna add five. So I'll add that here and days. So I'll change year to days. And our placeholder text, I'll change this to, or I'll see this is updated effective to. Um, and then, so you do have the option to format your culture and formatting. So for the format, I prefer option where you have your month, day, year. So I'll just pick option format D and the whole culture is English, US. I'll scroll down a little bit to United States. Here. There, it's perfect. So now that I have everything selected here, I'm going to go ahead and select OK, and it will appear as placeholder text in our document. There we go. OK, so now I think this is looking right. I think we've done everything correctly, but always to make sure, we're going to check by um, choosing data to test with this template. So what I'll do is I'll select this Choose Data button from the MSCRM add-ons tab. Yes, I will save this current template. Um, and then we can choose from our active quote records to test this against. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and search here. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and select one of our active quote records, and we'll say select. 
And then it can take a little while to load, but essentially what's happening is this template is pulling in the data from that select from that record that we selected. And we'll just make sure that it was pulled in correctly. So we'll give it a moment. I think, okay, here we go. So currently the current date, of course, is September, September 8th. And then the ballot until on here is set to October 5th. So I'm gonna pop over to this active quote record and make sure that that's accurate. So let me do that for us real quick. Okay, so this is that active record. As you can see, it has the same name and it is effective to September 30th. And so if you add five days to it, it should be October 5th, which if you recall in the sample document, it says right here. So that correctly pulled in the current date and the added five days to the current effective two date. So everything looks great. And I hope that you all were able to follow along with that example on how to pull in these dates with the date time field option and advanced string. And that covers my brief demo on how to add date, dates to templates. I hope you all learned a lot. And if you have any questions, as always, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And definitely make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to avoid missing updates in the future. Thank you.